Hi, this is Warner with Warner's Tree Surgery. It is, uh, let's see, it's June the 18th or 19th, 2018. I'm looking at a Chinese elm in Mesa. And this particular tree has been uh, infected with the ash fly. What we've done is we've treated it with a fast-acting poison and got the customer straightened out on some stuff she can do with her do herself long term. Uh, you can see how the leaves have been damaged. And there's a lot of leaf drop on the ground. Uh, there's a citrus tree close by that is also infected with the ash fly and there's going to be more information coming in the middle of this video to tell you about this. Hi, this is Warner and I need to interrupt this video to bring you news about a new threat to your trees. The ash whitefly has been in Maricopa County for at least three years. This tiny insect has the ability to completely defoliate at least 40 species of trees. The list includes the ash tree, citrus trees, jacarandas, tipus, orchid trees, the flowering pear, and many more. The adult ash fly appears much like a typical white fly with a light dusting of white wax. Depending on the temperature, the females live from 30 to 60 days, while the males live an average of nine days. This rapid development time, coupled with the absence of the predator wasp, produces numerous generations per year in Arizona plus the ability of all of the life stages to overwinter on trees like pines, citrus, oaks, and others, allows a rapid buildup in population at the start of the season. Winged females lay eggs on the underside of the leaves, and when the nymphs emerge, they rarely move far. They feed on the plant sap until they're mature. To learn more, Go to my website. The Universal Resource link should be on the screen now. Please watch the video and read the information on that page. We are now returning you to the video you are watching. Thank you. Uh, this particular insect uh, infects over 40 species of trees. And it's back, so give us a call. If you got any questions, the number is 480-969-8808. Uh, if you want me to come out and look at your trees, give us a call and we'll, we'll do that for you. Uh, the so that's about it. I'm looking for one that's been caught. The Chinese elm don't catch them quite as well as the citrus or the oleanders or the jacarandas or the, but they still do. It's just not as prevalent. A lot of trees will uh, are able to catch the and are able to catch the ash fly uh, with little spears that they produce. And the Chinese elm can do that as well. They just don't do it nearly as well as, as some other trees. But that doesn't mean that they're not in your trees. Um, if you have leaves that look damaged on the back, uh, like these here, if you get a, got a lot of leaf drop, A lot of stuff that just doesn't look right where the tree has been fine for years and years then and all of a sudden it's looking bad 
there's a couple of insects that can do this. Uh, the aphids and there's psyllids that can get in here, but there's other insects that eat them, so they don't they don't present the problem that the ash fly does. The ash fly has uh, so far has no natural predator here in the Phoenix area. So that's about it. Uh, this is Warner. If you got any questions, give me a call. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Pat with Warner's Tree Surgery. If you found this video helpful, would you take a minute to write a Google review? Just do a Google search for Warner's Tree Surgery, then sign in with your Google account. Then give us a rating, then write a review. This will help other people to find us on Google to get the latest information about their trees. Thank you.